This is Mr. Colling again, and in this video we're going to try and get the code that you've written here that's working on your virtual micro bit onto the actual micro bit that you've got in front of you. Now bear in mind please that I'm working on this on the St. Mary's computers, so yours might work slightly differently, but the settings should be fairly similar. What we're going to do when we want to get our script um, onto our micro bit is first we're going to make sure that we've called it a sensible name that will help us out a lot later and then we're going to hit download so once I click um, download I can get my micro bit and I can put the USB the small end of the USB goes into the top of the micro bit just on the back and then I'm going to plug it in to my computer just so you can see what's happening I'm going to select start and go to computer here and that should load up a window where you can see all my drives. I'm just going to plug my micro bit in now, like that, and you should see in a second, mine's installed the drivers, and my micro bit should pop up here. You can also see it here in computer. If you can't see that, it might be because you need to click this triangle to expand the menu. Now when I click download, my program went into my downloads folder. So I'm going to click download to go there and you'll see that it's called message one, micro bit message one and it's something called a hex file. I'm going to take that and I'm going to drag it across, click my mouse until I get over the micro bit and it goes blue and I'm going to let go like that. The back of your micro bit will start flashing orange and this menu will pop up and when this menu disappears your code should start running on your micro bit. There you go. So that's how to download your code from the website and put it on your actual physical microbit.